Hi, Leo. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your angel advice oracle card messages for the week of October 2nd through the 8th, 2016. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I absolutely, I say it all the time, I absolutely love doing this for you guys every month with the monthlies, the love monthlies, the angel weeklies, the morning angel card readings, messages for the day. I just say I do. I love it all. And I do thank you guys really from the bottom of my heart for the likes, the shares, the comments, definitely the interacting with you guys is amazing. I do love that. So keep them coming. Okay, so Leo, let's see what the week has in store for you. And let me just say this real quick, because, you know, we've gone from where I, I live in the north and we've gone from 90 to, to 50 like that. And like, I have a cold. My nose is runny. I'm coughing. I'm sneezing. And in advance, I apologize, really. Okay. So you start out the week with Justice by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot Cards. So Justice, Libra card, but you know, could represent really anybody, anything. So in this deck, I mean, any legal issues, anything like that, definitely are, you know, positive outcome with this card. Let me apologize about that too. They are working around my house and they are literally like right outside my window in the room that I'm in. So if you could hear that, I really do apologize. This card also means a decision definitely needs to be, definitely needs to be made. You're weighing your options, you're balancing the scales, but, but you know, options, you know, decisions will definitely be made in your favor. You know, it's definitely important to thoroughly review any legal documents that you may have to, or contracts, things like that, that you may have to sign this week. You know, it's a card of taking responsibility for your actions, you know, standing up for your beliefs. You know, even just issuing or receiving an apology Major Arcana, eights for me are, you know, empowerment. Love it. Okay, so the, okay, your next card is from the um, Guardian Angel Tarot deck, also by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. And positive recognition, and this is the Sun card. And... That's beautiful. It says on the card, congratulations. Your plans have worked out perfectly and now it's time to shine. Brilliant, brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all around, is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Sun card. I just did Leo's card, Leo's reading right before yours. And they got the sun card as well, only in this deck, the angel tarot deck. I don't know why I felt the need to, in case your moon or your rising sign happens to be in Leo. 
which also let me say that as well. If this reading does not resonate with you at all, please look at your moon and your rising, even your Venus sign. I feel it's best to look at all three because when you do that, this is what you do. You take what you can from each reading and leave the rest. Take what resonates with you, leave the rest. And you'd be surprised and amazed at how amazingly accurate all three, when you look at the entire picture, it, it could be pretty mind-blowing. Just saying. Okay. So, in her deck, you know, people will see you for the wonderful person that you are. There's public recognition is very likely, including awards, promotions, scholarships, public appearances. You know, when I look at Justice Card, I mean, you know, that's definitely a public appearance. So really, anything legal that, that you are going through this week, anything. Hmm. The sun is definitely definitely whatever it is for you this week. If you feel you've been unfairly justified, unfairly treated, anything legal, anything. Sun card is the is is the most positive card in the major tarot. I don't see the card too often, and I literally just said the same thing to Leo. And you got you guys got the sun card in the opposite deck. It's interesting, but really, I mean, brilliant new ideas astonishing epiphanies that's all possible now absolutely be open to whatever poss uh, opportunities possibilities come your way this week even ones that have never occurred before if you have an idea you know you know just because it's It's new. It doesn't mean that it isn't the perfect next step. You know, if you're afraid to take that next step, there's no need to be. Open your, your openly express yourself. Definitely do it honestly. You know, with compassion, complete confidence. There's enlightenment, excellent health, blessings, a successful completion to a project. And you're surrounded by people that you can trust. Perfect card to start out the week. Next card is Loving Words from Jesus, also by Doreen Virtue. Wow, you're the, you're the 11th sign that I'm doing. And this is the second time I've seen this card. And whatever it is, it's fast movement. And I say that because, you know, up, he's holding a wand. You know, for wands, wands are movement. And it says, unto you it is given. To you... Let me, let me start that over. I'm so sorry. I'm stumbling over my words today, big time. Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mark 4, 11. If you want to read that verse in the Bible this week, that's beautiful. But I feel movement here. Positive movement. A positive decision. So if you're feeling stuck, 
can't figure something out, it's positive. There's movement. And for me, I mean, my God, goodness, in any reading for me, any reading, no matter where it falls, the sun shines over the entire reading, always. Always. Flower Therapy. Doreen Virtue and Robert Reeves. Purification. White Rose. And at the bottom of the card, by purifying your life of negative people, places and experiences, you, att you attain true peace. So, with this card, your entire body, your mind, your spirit, your soul are craving peace. And the purity of the white rose will definitely, beautiful card. Serve as your guiding light. You, it, it, it is definitely time for you to take a well-deserved rest. You need to clear away any negativity from your life. And maybe start by, you know, finding the source of the lower energies. You know, that have been you know, that have been coming to you. You know, take a good look at the people you're spending time with. You know, maybe for some of you it's um you know, th these may not be people or individuals, whoever. You know, maybe there'll be individual, you know, people who will help you achieve your life's purpose. But, but you know, by continuing, continuing to interact with them, you're preventing yourself from re, you know, reaching a state of peace. Bottom line to that card is really release any and all negativity. You know, don't deny yourself. You know of whatever I mean, whatever the sun, especially, is trying to hover over you. Time to let it go. Enjoy the peace. Butterfly oracle, oracle cards for life changes. Wow. Um, also by Doreen Virtue. Take the next step. So, you know... The sun card said about you'll know when you're ready about taking the next step. I love when spirit puts a reading together just so perfectly. So, next week you're ready for the next step. It's fast. I really thought for sure it was going to come up about patience this week for you. But some sort of patience, but you're ready. Whatever it is. If you have felt stuck, stalled, this card is offering a solution. It's time to take action. Even a small step 
in the direction of it. I mean, but really, I mean, you're past the small step. It doesn't... I forgot, well, you know, for some of you, if you need that small step, you know, in the, in the direction of your vision. You definitely will feel a sense of progress and hope. I think all of you know what the next step is. And your heart is leading you there. Definitely take a leap of faith. Definitely go for your goals. It's a week of movement. It really, I feel like it's a week of movement in whatever it is for you. A new job, new career, new relationship. I mean, it's whatever it is. You know why? Because, I mean... Everything and anything is pos possible and positive under the sun card. Anything. Everything. And the wish card. This is all I'm going to say about this card. I, okay, it says, at the, your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Leo, this is beautiful. This is all I'm going to say. You have been granted a very, a very special wish. Special wish. That's near and dear to you. Choose it wisely. Choose it carefully. Because once I really... Under the sun card, justice, the next, whatever it is, I feel like you've already thought about it. You're ready for it. And be sure it, you know what it is that you really want before you release it. Because it, I feel once you do... The, the energy is so strong around it that it really, it could happen pretty fast. And you, and you got a new, a new dawn. The worst is now behind you. Positive new experiences are on the horizon. I very seldom say this card, and I'm so sorry. This card is also by Doreen Virtues, Dolphins and, Mer and the Mermaids. Leo, this, this reading really is amazing for you guys. And really, you, you guys have endured some shit with this card. And it has not been easy. But right now, the way is clear. It's smooth. You could expect the best. Again, you know, the negativity, I hate to keep bringing it up, but... From your consciousness, it needs to go. Get rid of it. It's in the past. Let it go. What, there's Why carry it? Let it go. Whatever it is. The worst is behind you. Forget about it. No matter what it is. You're going to get your wish and, and, you're, and you're under the sun. Get to know each other. This, this is, you know, for love, romance, intimacy for the week. Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. I absolutely am in love with the cards, and I'm sorry that, I mean, they're really huge. But, I mean, they're just, they're, they're beautiful cards. So, the bottom it says, Learning to meet another's needs for, for love is important for a relationship to grow. So with this card, it, it, you know, the need to feel loved and appreciated motivate, motivates, you know, how we will act in a relationship, taking time to understand each other will definitely benefit 
you will find that this will definitely help love to grow. Recognize your differences. Don't try to control every aspect of what is before you. Just get to know each other. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. And then the last card is by Tori Hartman. It is a Chakra Wisdom Oracle card. Foundation for the week, advice card. Um, they're pretty powerful cards. Um, okay, so how beautiful prayer. Oh my goodness. That was a beautiful one, probably one of the most beautiful readings I think I've seen. Okay, clarity, destiny, authenticity with this card. You know, if my most, if your most powerful, powerful thoughts are in a form of prayer, how can I live? in active prayer. This card is a reminder that there is always a plan. If you were sidetracked from your path, you will be, you know, guided back to your true calling. It's a card of, you know, you know, that, of course, you know, it's very important, you know, to prayer. And this card, you know, it is a card of that your prayers are answered. You know, it, it, you know, but it's important to take stock of where you've been in order to gain perspective on your life. You know, reflections. You know, take time every day this week to maybe complete a beautiful movement. You know, this week you know, determine what an authentic inner voice is and find out if yours is expressed in your present path. You know, keep asking yourself if you're doing the right work and if you're in, and if you're in alignment with your dreams. You know, make sure but and I think you will. I, I mean I really do. I guess what I, the bottom line is what, I, what I'm trying to say is just make sure that, like I said with the wish card, that you know that your prayer need absolutely, absolutely make sure it's in line with your wish. This week. By Wednesday, Thursday. Because I do, I do think whatever it is, whether it's work, whether it's relationship, whatever, whatever your prayer is that's going to be answered, your wish, I think it's going to happen relatively soon for you. I really do. It's beautiful, Leo. I love it. Okay, those are your messages. Thank you so much, guys, for taking the time to view the video. Um, you guys really 
should have a fabulous week. Yeah, by the looks of your cards, I mean, you really should. All you have to do, really, is make a choice for some of you. If it's legal issues, it'll be fine. That's probably not for many of you. But definitely a decision needs to be made. Once you make the decision, it's a new beginning. The worst is new. It's behind you. It's fresh. It's new. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, have a fantastic day, and I will see you back here with the Morning Oracle Cards. Bye-bye.